Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Um, I just took some time to go through a quick repair for the MacBook Air uh, audio cable problem. There's been I mean, countless and countless, countless amount of people that have had issues with the no sound icon showing there and then had to um, have the Apple individuals replace the audio flux cable. And I've sort of um, rejigged it my way and uh, zero cost is involved so hopefully you guys will be happy to hear that. I'm just going to go through the process actually of um, taking it apart and showing you exactly what's going on underneath. It's really easy. Everyone should be able to do this in under 30 minutes and um, it's a quick and easy fix for something that could cost you quite a bit of money. And, um, I hope that this uh, goes well for you guys when you try it yourself. So I've taken the time, as you can see, to already unscrew the backing of the MacBook Air. And I can show you exactly where the audio flex cable goes from. It uh, runs right here underneath the hard drive and sort of goes behind the battery and directly to the speaker itself. Um, so to save some time, I've gone ahead and already taken apart the keyboard um, backing, the battery, uh, undone the speaker and I will show you now how to sort of take this apart. So go ahead and lift this up right here. It's a simple pull tug. And underneath, there's gonna be the two screws which you're going to have to uh, loosen up a bit, not totally remove, but just loosen so this is flexible. But before you do that, let's just pull up the battery. I've gone ahead and used the good old screwdriver just to loosen that up. And before you do that, remember, you've got to disconnect this from the motherboard. So you just slide it just like that. And then this will easily just pop right out. Nothing else really connecting itself. Put that aside easily. This has already popped up and as you can see the audio flex cable is completely visible now. And I'm just going to lift this up, pop that out. You can see the connector is right there. And then it falls its way all the way to the speaker underneath and it just pops off just like that. Now, as you can see, the cable itself, um, usually affixed through here, some sort of adhesive, seems to be in pretty good shape. And um, for the times that it's been done, the cable itself is not seen to be deteriorated in any sort of shape or form. As you sort of pry it back into its straight lineage, you can see that um, at no way, shape, or form has anything been cut or broken. Uh, each individual connector piece, whether it's coming from the speaker itself connecting here or the other connection here, they're both in great shape. So why somebody would go ahead and buy a brand new one of these sort of, I don't know, left me thinking that maybe it's not necessary and it's just a sort of a positioning within the wire. Sometimes these are really nitpicky, right? So the easy part of this here is you know, just to check to make sure the audio cable doesn't need to be done, and all you do is really plug it back in. So I'm going to go ahead and fixate this back into connection there for the speaker. Make sure everything's out of its way. Easy for me to put it back in. Put the screw back there. And then I'm going to. I'm going to put back the battery, but before I do that, I'm going to lift the audio cable up first. Let's just gently put everything back into place before I start screwing everything back down. <clears throat> so there's a little bit more room for us to play with. Now to make sure that that's all fixed into place, I'm going to tighten everything back up right here at the speaker. Tighten that down, it's very easy. You can really use any sort of screwdriver you want when it comes to taking these screws off. It's really easy to work with underneath the back of the computer. And then we're left with um, the battery itself and fixing the cable back here. So in similar fashion, it's gonna need to bend back and um, 
connect itself back into the same place that we removed it from. And that's as simple, easy fix as that. We'll go ahead and tighten up these screws that have not been completely removed but loosened just to save some time. That one goes in there. That one goes in there. Nothing to it. Similar positioning as you can see. Um, nothing really to it. You're not breaking anything, you're not putting any different pressure than it already would have had already. We put that on top and then we'll simply connect that piece back in. And then we'll finish up here with the battery. As I mentioned earlier, it is a dead easy task. I am by no means computer expert. I have a business backing and no education or technical know-how. So hopefully this does work out for you. <laughs> the screw is just going to rip right back into its spot. Go all the way around the battery. One thing you probably want to consider when doing this is to make sure that your product is out of warranty because a lot of times if you do have other issues with um, the computer, Apple will say, well, you've played around with it and we're not going to have that covered, unfortunately. So as you can see, every screw goes in perfectly. Nothing to it. But this is such an old model anyways, it doesn't really matter. Warranty, the maximum would be three years and that would have just passed in the summer, primarily in June or July 2012. Make sure everything's connected perfectly. As you can see, the speaker's attached correctly. Nothing else has been forgotten. Nothing else has been moved. It's the same way that it was sitting before, although we have a different placement for the audio flex cable. Um, and then it's just a simple process of going ahead and popping back the shell. I've left all the screws in the same place they were before just to make it easier for everyone to see. This uh, snug in there. And um, off we go. Left one better screw right there. We'll start with that one. Simply screw everything back in. As you can see, there's not really much resistance when it comes to location. The cable's not causing any sort of pressure that you can't screw anything in. If you do feel the need to put a little bit of pressure on and screwing them back down, um, by all means, it's not going to cause any more issues. It's a pretty easy, simple design that they've started here with the first gens of uh, the MacBook Air. I've been really, really happy with this product. Other than the cable itself, uh, causing me a little bit of delay with the no speakers, no sound. You know, I've tried all the different commands. I've tried the safe start. I've tried deleting the bezel. Um, you name it, I've tried it when it comes to um, sort of your testing. And uh, this is sort of my last uh, go before I, I took it into Apple and spent the couple hundred bucks to get it fixed. And I thought, well, the value of the computer now is not really all that high. Let's see what I can do with this sort of do-it-yourself project. I'll finish up here with the last screw. Hopefully it goes in easy, it doesn't give me a hard time. Again, I'll show you that the product itself is in awesome condition. You know, I've never had any issue with it whatsoever. And um, just like everybody else's MacBook Air, it's really clean. You know, it's not a hardware sort of malfunction for me damaging the product. And then go ahead and start her up.
And there you go, folks. You hear it. The speaker has been fixed. And uh, it's a simple, cheap process. You can wait for this to start up. And I will be able to show you the speaker is visible. And it starts up and doesn't just go away. So you'll be able to go ahead and listen to any sort of music you want. Give me a second, I'll log in. And then I can just go ahead and show you. The speaker icon does not leave us. And you do have full access to volume from then on. So I'm going to leave you guys there. And uh, I'm just going to say, um, wish you the best of luck. By all means, send me an email um, at growthguided at gmail.com and um, you can go from there if you have any questions if I can help you further and uh, thanks for listening and watching have a good day